Hi guys, I have a small haul and a small unboxing haul to share with y'all today about one thing from Ulta, a few things from Rite Aid, and one thing from Lime Crime Cosmetics. I'm going to start with the one thing I got from Ulta, and it's this Ulta Lip Glossary Lip Collection, and it's so cute. You can see the packaging is very sparkly. Um, when you rub on it like that, usually with sparkles they come off, but these don't, so that's awesome. And um, it just has the Ulta logo right there. I was just going to walk around Ulta just to see what was on sale. And then me and my boyfriend, we passed by the Ulta brand. And um, he's like, oh, look at this. And I'm like, well, what's so special about it? And we, we've been trying, or he's been trying to look for a dark purple sparkly lip gloss for me. Or lipstick. And all the dark purple lips lipsticks we find are either matte or they have a sheen to them but no sparkles so this caught him his attention this purple lip gloss with some sparkles and then um, we saw the price tag and you get all these for ten dollars so we got this whole thing for ten dollars it was awesome and there's like a little spoon here um, I'm not sure if that's to take out the product or take it out with like to help you take it out of the um, places they're in if that makes sense um, like I said they are um, 30 shades in here they range from matte to shimmery um, to creams to uh, sheens so like here you get a matte bubblegum pink and then you get some of your neutrals your reds this vibrant gold shade right here that is a uh, shimmery I believe um, an orange um, just really nice colors some lilacs very very nice uh, and then you get this super bright pink kinda like the Nicki Minaj pink um, lipstick by MAC yep and, um, and of course that dark purple that we've been all we've been trying to find so I'm just gonna swatch some of these for you randomly okay so I just took one of them out and this is the size of them they're like sample lip glosses which is kind of cool they do not have names on these which I wish they kind of did but you know oh well and look how awesome this is this comes with the applicator look at that it's so cute and um, I'm just gonna swatch this for you these are so pigmented very nice and I'm going to swatch th some of these on my lips for you okay so here I go you get a a good amount of product in these as well and this um has like a bubble gummy fruity scent to it which is nice, I think. It's not overwhelming. So, there's the um, Nicki Minaj pink, as I call it. And I'm sorry about my lighting. Um, yeah, it's. I'll have photos at the end to make it all better. I bet you my phone's gonna ring throughout this video. What the bananas? Get out of here. Okay, so here is another one. This is like, kind of like a Clemson. By gosh. Alright, so here's another one I picked out. This is like a sparkly Clemson orange shade. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, so here's another one I picked out. This one is like a medium orange shade with some sparkles in it this is the most sparkly one in the bunch I'm going to swatch it next to the Snicky Minaj pink there you go that's what it looks like very nice you can tell that the Nicki Minaj is a cream finish and this one is a sparkly finish as you can tell okay so now I'm going to put this on my lips okay so here it is you can definitely see sparkles in it. And with these um, sparkly lip glosses, I guess, or lip colors, you don't feel the sparkles in them um, on your lips. So that's good. And um, But this one is a little bit sticky. But the um, 
pink one wasn't, so I don't know. It's kind of weird, I think. Nonetheless, I really like them. Okay, so here is the purple sparkly shade that I guess kind of brought us to buying this. And I'm just going to swatch it on my hand right here. Or the back of my hand. This one's not as pigmented as the others, which is kind of sad, but what are you going to do? Now I'm going to swatch it on my lips. Okay, so here's that deep purple lip color. Um, Application-wise, this has applied better than the other two that I've mentioned, the pink and the orange one. Um, but the color payoff kind of, it's okay. Um, it's not all that pigmented. I had to do two layers of this to get this pigmentation. So I think these are, um, I guess, layered lip glosses. Like you have to build it up to get your desired shade or the desired pigmentation that you want. So um, that could be good and bad. I don't know. But then again, all 30 shades for $10, not that bad of a deal. I'm super, thanks for asking. All things considered, I'm much better, I'm a say. I'm super, no, nothing bugs me. No! So the next place I bought some things were from Rite Aid. And I only got three things. And why the heck did they give me a long receipt? Look at that. It makes no sense. But anyways, Rite Aid was having buy one get one half off on mostly all their cosmetics so that's that was pretty neat so I kinda took advantage of that a little bit so the first thing I got was this L'Oreal Paris new youth code BB cream illuminator yeah looks fancy it says in one step evens illuminates perfects moisturize and corrects and I got this one in light this is just what it looks like very nice um, how many grams of product? It comes with 2.5 fluid ounces in it, which is more than my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. The reason why I got this is because I'm almost out of that BB Cream, and I was like, hmm, why not try another brand? So, yep, this cost how much? This cost $11.99. Oh, it was on sale. It was originally $16.99, and I got $5 off, so it was $11.99, so that's awesome. Can't go wrong with sales. Um, anyways, it's just like a squeezy tube. It comes out like that. And I haven't even tried this. It looks a little bit too dark for me. I hope it's not, though. Because this is the lightest shade they have. There. There it is. Oh. Whoa. It definitely feels weird. It's not thick at all. I mean, it's thick until you rub it in. That doesn't sound right, but... Oh my gosh. See, I think that's the wrong shade for me. Well, crap. This has a smell to it. Um, kind of a perfumey scent. So if you have sensitive skin, this might not work for you. Um, I might be able to get, get away with that, but I don't know. I might have to return it. Who knows? But anyways, like I said, that is a Youth Code BB Cream in light. The last two items I got are from Maybelline. And these were buy one get one half off. Like I said, these are the new Vivid Lipsticks. I've been eyeing these so long. Probably since they came out. I think they have about six or seven shades. But they're so bright and so bold and just not your everyday shades. Um... So I got two of them. I got this one. This one is an $8.95 on fire red. Which, and honestly, this makes no sense to me. They have two reds in this collection. On fire red, which I have. And I think the other one is neon red. Um, I, didn't, I don't think that's a good idea, but maybe they ran out of the colors. I have no idea. Anyways, this one is an on fire red. It's just your typical red lipstick. Um... It looks really dark in the tube, but when you put it on, yeah, it's pretty freaking bright. Oh, and by the way, I've already um, wore these. Oh, jeez. Like I said, I was, what was I saying? 
crap. Like I was saying, this is on fire red, and I already wore these both, and they're so freaking pretty. I love it. Oh my gosh. I have to go buy more. I love the texture and the formula of these. These are all cream finishes from what I saw, and yeah, that's on fire red. I'm going to be applying this now to my lips. All right, and here's on fire red. See? See what I mean? Look at that. Holy guacamole. That is freaking bright as crap. So, yeah. And like I said, these are cream finishes. So, that's awesome. And this is how much product you get. They're very nice. This originally cost... I don't know. This originally cost $7.99. Oh, yeah. This cost $7.99. And I got the other one for... Um, Half off, which was $3.99. Got moisturize those lips. For show. Sure. Why is everything falling? How many? Oh, it's already at 26 minutes. What the crangly dangly doodles. And it's already. Is this, oh, it's 316. <gasps> Here's the other Maybelline Vivid Lipstick that I got. This one is an 870 Shocking Coral. You see it? Oh my gosh, I fell in love with this shade. Oh, my camera's not doing it justice. Oh, wait, there it is. Ah, it looks red or, or orangey, but it's like a pink coral shade. Oh, it's absolutely, there, there you go. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to swatch it because it's that amazing. See? Ah! I'm so excited about this. It's so neon-y. It looks neon, but yeah. Let me try putting this on my lips for y'all. Alright. Here is Shocking Coral. Shocking, I know. What? It's so bright. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this camera is not doing it justice like I said. It's making it look darker than it actually is, but it's it's totally not that dark. Um, it's so amazing. I love it. Fabulous, awesome springtime color. Yep. So, like I said, that I got that for how much? $3.99? Yeah, $3.99. And this is in Shocking Coral. Okay, so last thing is this Lime Crime package. Look how adorable that is. It's purple and it has a unicorn which is the Lime Crime logo or symbol. And it comes with this lavender paper which is pretty. I love purple. Ah, chunk. Here is the lipstick. But wait, there's stuff in here. Okay, chunk. So, oh, there's a card thingy. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It says Lime Crime. Like I said, this is my first time ever purchasing from Lime Crime, which is awesome. She's so pretty. And, oh, uh, these are the um, Velveteen Matte Glosses, which are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really want Swayberry, which is the lighter shade. And it comes with this... I guess receipt, and it's purple as well. Sorry, that was my dog snorting. Um, yeah, this lipstick costs, like I said, fifteen ninety nine, and uh, the shipping was about five something, so it came to a total of twenty one ninety four, I believe. Uh, yeah, that was a heck of a lot of money for one lipstick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. And it says Lime Crime. It has a unicorn right there. Fancy packaging. Or at least the boxes. And it says Opaque Lipstick. This one is in... Oh, you're not going to see that. Geradium or Geradium. You see it? I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. It says Lipstick. Wow. And this has 3.5 grams of product in it. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah! Look at that. This is the most epic packaging ever. Oh, there it is. Gradium. Yep. And it has like this 
unicorn and then purple packaging. It looks like a bullet. Amazing. Let's open it. Hmm. There it is. This is Gradium. This is their newest lipstick they just came out with. I purchased it on Valentine's Day the day it came out. So, and I was reading about these lipsticks. Since they these are opaque lipsticks and very, very pigmented, um, they will break easily. So you have to be careful with these lipsticks. And also, um, store these in a cool place, not a hot place. Because obviously if you do, they're going to melt. And they're going to break easily. So this is opaque and awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. Trying to be careful. Look at that. And you know what? I think I found a dupe for this. You know that lipstick that just swatched right here? I think that was in Shocking Coral by Maybelline. I believe this is a dupe for Lime Crimes Gradium lipstick. Um, I'm... Yeah. That's why I actually bought the Shocking Coral to see if this was a dupe. So, looks awesome. And anyways, I want to apply this to my lips now. Alright, so and here's Gradium. I honestly believe this is a dupe. What do y'all think? This might be slightly brighter, a little bit, but nothing you can't really, um, nothing you can really tell. So, um, huh, that's interesting. Alright, so that was it for my small haul and my unboxing video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see everyone in my next video. Bye, guys.